everyone, welcome to this week's video and I am going to be drawing teeny weeny meeny landscapes. Well, not teeny weeny, just smaller ones. I have a selection of random different squares and shapes and rectangles and things of watercolour paper cut out and I am going to practice drawing an animal in a landscape environment but doing it really small I'm hoping that I can use it as an exercise to kind of get the gist of where it would go in positioning without having to worry about all of the details and things because I'll be able to see if I'm drawing it right or wrong as it's smaller from far away because I think you'll just pick up if you've drawn it weirdly um if that makes sense because you know you know you're painting and it's a big picture and you think it looks great and then you step back and you're like oh oh that's that's not right I imagine with a small painting because it's already small you're already quite far away in proportion sizes well you know what I mean anyway so that's what we're doing today I don't know how many of these we're going to get through I'm going to talk you through the sketching stage and what I'm trying to achieve and then we're going to get painting and see how they come out at the end so fingers crossed they work mm. I decided to start with my favourite species, the devil crab, which I absolutely love. But like I do most of the time with landscapes, I let the pressure get to me and stumbled quite a bit in the first few times. In fact, in a minute, you'll see the picture disappear. There you go. And then come back again because I decided to give up and was like, no, come on, you could do this. So I was doing the devil crab kind of hidden in a little cave ready to come out and you know attack the world i wanted a bit more of a dynamic pose but we got to start somewhere um and then i painted the whelk that i saw at st andrews and this is from the actual whelk that i saw and the next one i did i drew a seahorse i really like seahorses but i also wanted to practice painting seagrass which I like to paint and would love to paint a lot better but the couple of times that I've drawn it it drives me up the wall because I'm not very good at painting green for some reason it's the colour I really struggle to make different tones of so this is definitely one I definitely need to practice and then I decided to draw an anemone eating a crab claw I don't know if you've ever seen this but I've seen it every now and again and anemones eat the weirdest stuff that you wouldn't expect to be found in in their jaws so i just kind of wanted a little mini picture as as a as a thing to that what's it called like a a memoir i don't know that's the wrong word but you know what i mean and then i basically got on with painting them so i'm going to hand over to some racks and music and you guys can see how it turns out
Mm-hmm.